China is no stranger to tackling monumental engineering challenges. The Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric project, transformed rivers into one of the country's primary energy sources. Now, Chinese scientists and engineers are setting their sights even higher, literally. They plan to construct a solar power station in space, a project some have described as building at Three Gorges in space. This isn't just a vision for the distant future, the groundwork is already being laid, with key milestones set for the coming decades. The concept involves capturing solar energy in orbit and beaming it back to Earth using wireless technology. While this idea has been explored for decades, China's plan is among the most ambitious yet. The basic principle of a space-based solar power station revolves around harnessing the uninterrupted sunlight available in space. In orbit, the absence of atmospheric interference allows solar panels to capture energy more efficiently than those on Earth. Unlike ground-based solar farms, which face challenges such as cloud cover, rain, or the setting sun, a solar station in geostationary orbit has access to consistent, direct sunlight 24 hours a day. In this unique environment, solar energy can be harvested at its full intensity without being diluted by Earth's atmosphere. The panels, designed to operate in the vacuum of space, would be constructed to endure extreme conditions, such as drastic temperature fluctuations and exposure to cosmic radiation. These conditions, which would render most terrestrial materials ineffective, require advanced engineering solutions. Once collected, the solar energy must be converted into a form suitable for transmission back to Earth. This involves complex systems capable of transforming sunlight into electromagnetic waves, either as microwaves or laser beams. These waves would then travel through space, unaffected by gravity or atmospheric drag, until they reach ground-based receiving stations. These stations are equipped with massive antennas or rectennas, specially designed to capture the energy with precision and efficiency. One of the most intriguing aspects of this process is the use of phased array technology in the transmission system. This allows for fine-tuned adjustments in the direction and intensity of the energy beams, ensuring that they stay accurately targeted on the receiving stations despite the constant motion of the Earth and the orbiting solar farm. Maintaining this synchronization requires not only cutting-edge software and sensors but also seamless communication between the station in orbit and the infrastructure on the ground. The scale of energy production envisioned for such a project is immense. A single space-based solar power station could theoretically provide power levels comparable to several large nuclear power plants combined. This capacity has sparked global interest in the potential of orbiting solar farms to address energy needs, particularly in regions where traditional energy sources are either scarce or unstable. As ambitious as it sounds, the project demands meticulous planning and execution at every stage. From the deployment of modular components into orbit to the assembly of vast arrays of solar collectors, the logistics of building and operating a solar power station in space represent a feat of engineering yet to be fully realized. Yet the allure of continuous, abundant energy makes the effort not just worthwhile but potentially transformative for the energy landscape of the future. China's journey towards space-based solar power began in earnest in 2010. Since then, they have invested heavily in research and development, with government support and funding driving the effort. In 2019, China announced a bold timeline for the project. By 2030, they plan to launch a small-scale experimental solar power station. This prototype will test the feasibility of key technologies, including the deployment of large solar arrays and the wireless transmission of power. By 2049, the centenary of the People's Republic of China, they aim to have a fully operational commercial-scale solar power station in orbit. If successful, it could generate up to 2 gigawatts of electricity, enough to power millions of homes. One of the most challenging aspects of the project is the wireless energy transmission system. To beam energy back to Earth, Scientists must develop advanced microwave or laser technology capable of maintaining high efficiency over vast distances. The process involves converting solar energy into electromagnetic waves, which are then sent to ground-based receivers using precise targeting systems. At the receiving stations, these waves are captured by special antennas and converted back into electricity. 
However, maintaining the accuracy of these transmissions is critical. Even a slight misalignment could lead to energy losses or, worse, potential safety risks. The construction and deployment of the solar panels themselves are another daunting challenge. Traditional solar panels on Earth are heavy and fragile, but launching materials into space requires lightweight, durable alternatives. China is exploring the use of thin-film solar cells, which are not only lighter but also more efficient at converting sunlight into electricity. These cells can also be folded or rolled up for compact storage during launch, then unfurled in space to form massive arrays. One proposed design involves panels spanning several kilometers, supported by modular structures that can be assembled in orbit using robotic technology. China's existing infrastructure in space gives it a strong foundation for this project. The Tiangong Space Station, for example, is already in orbit and serves as a platform for testing various technologies, including solar power systems. The country has also developed heavy lift rockets, such as the Long March 5th, capable of carrying large payloads into space. These rockets are crucial for transporting the components needed to build the solar power station. Additionally, China's Beidou satellite navigation system could play a key role in ensuring the precise alignment of the solar farm and its energy transmissions. The potential benefits of this project are significant. Unlike terrestrial solar farms, which are limited by weather and the day-night cycle, space-based solar stations can operate continuously. This could provide a stable and reliable source of power, especially for regions with limited access to traditional energy infrastructure. Furthermore, the technology has applications beyond energy generation. For example, it could power remote scientific outposts, disaster relief operations, or even lunar bases in the future. Despite its promise, the project faces numerous challenges, technical, financial, and environmental. First, the cost of launching and assembling such a massive structure in space is enormous. Current estimates suggest that building a commercial-scale solar farm could cost tens of billions of dollars. Second, there are concerns about space debris. The growing number of satellites and other objects in orbit increases the risk of collisions, which could damage the solar farm or disrupt its operations. The long-term effects of beaming high-intensity microwaves or lasers through the atmosphere are not yet fully understood. Scientists will need to ensure that these transmissions are safe for humans, wildlife, and the environment. Despite these challenges, China's Three Gorges in Space project represents a bold step forward in the quest for innovative energy solutions. If successful, it could revolutionize the way we think about power generation and pave the way for similar projects around the world. For now, the world watches as China pushes the boundaries of engineering and science, aiming to turn what was once science fiction into reality. Will this ambitious plan succeed? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the journey toward building a solar power station in space is already reshaping our vision of the future.